Bloxburg added a marketplace in their new update, and we're gonna buy all of these houses. But if you guys don't know, Bloxburg updated and they added a bunch of things, but one of the things they've added are pre built houses, and they're actually made by uh, some content creators. So I actually have a house here called Cedar Crest. I got the lowest budget, guys. So uh, yes, it's ugly. I get it. Uh, we now only have two of the original starter houses. So we have the Happy Home of Robloxy and also the Cozy Cottage. Everything else is gone, and we now have different types of starter homes uh, but i'm gonna start with mine and that's because i wanted to show you guys uh, what we got to make these items so uh, everybody got a different prompt uh, and i thought like everyone got a house but some people got townhomes uh, someone got a uh, like a little campsite i got a craftsmanship house okay craftsman house uh, now i get this picture right here right how am i supposed to make this with forty thousand dollars guys like there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of details that you need to add and i just don't think it was enough money but they gave me some reference images and i saw it and uh, they also wanted a lot of uh, uh, dark. I was looking at these and I was like, oh, we need to go like dark wood. Not really something that I would do, but that's apparently what they wanted. They wanted woodwork, natural elements, cozy, earthy feeling. Okay, so we had to add a lot of browns, I was guessing. They also wanted some landscaping, so that took a lot of money because Bloxburg plants are kind of expensive. And this was everything that I had to follow. So I had $40,000. No game pass. I don't get any game pass. I can use advanced uh placement though uh, but no basic shapes no transform tool no blocks books items no vehicles no seasonal custom decals um and then of course i needed the necessities and i also needed this stuff so i needed a front po a porch and a patio i needed raised square pillars um i also needed one to two bedrooms i can afford a second bedroom i'm not gonna lie and then we wanted a kid's bedroom now i did make a kid's place but they took it out because it wasn't a bedroom. They also wanted a driveway, they wanted a backyard, and they also wanted a front yard. I thought they wanted a garage, but maybe I just made that up. Because the garage took a little bit of money. If they didn't need a garage, I should have just not put a garage in. I'm not gonna lie. Well, they did want a driveway. So I was like, I have to add a garage then, right? But before I show you guys my house, I'm gonna show you guys my house before they switched it. Because they did change a lot of things in my house. And this is how it looks, guys. I know it's still not the best house, but um, it was very different. I had a raised porch over here. Also, I was watching Float. Float actually tier listed all of these. And he gave me a D. Well deserved, by the way. I don't really like this house at all. Um, and he was telling me how much of a fire hazard it was for this to be wood. I didn't really think about that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really, I don't really care that much about fire hazards, but now it makes sense. <laughs> Maybe my textures are a little whack. But anyways, I had a raised thing, game of bobber. Oh no, I'm gonna faint, guys. I'm gonna faint! And then I had this. Again, it's not the best. I really didn't mind the kitchen. I thought the kitchen was kind of cute. I had money for this they wanted kids stuff so i added kids things I, this was actually like a little living room but i didn't have enough money for a living room so i switched to last second and then i have a little hallway here with a garage there was nothing in the garage because again i couldn't afford anything and then i had to make an enclosed backyard so i just did this because again i had no money and then i have my bedroom and a float also said that my fireplace was a hazard i literally made this as a, guys i can't talk I literally made this in an hour because I got bored. And then I have my bathroom here. Um, I think they did a better job at the bathroom. I'm not going to lie, uh, but that was my bathroom. So this is the original. They did change it, which I don't really mind. I don't really care, to be honest. So now let's go ahead and switch this. And I'm going to go ahead and buy myself my own plot. Well, actually, I already bought it. So let me go open that up. So here is my house now. I did add a picture frame because i was doing the new update here but they did change a little bit they don't have the raised platform anymore um and then inside it's not raised they kept the plants over here they opened this up um and they saw the fireplace all that stuff i think i think they made this a little bit cuter i don't really like the kids place either they added some beams which is cute they did up the price it is forty seven thousand dollars now um so they did that they changed the the wood into like a light wood it's not vibing with the kitchen but i do like the beams and then they added more things over here like a little mud room i think they also added stuff to oh not those windows but they did add boxes to the backyard not the backyard the um the garage and then they added a little cuter thing in in the backyard they made the backyard a lot cuter okay i will say some things are cuter that they did some things it's a lot of wood like there's a lot of textures here that i don't know i like the kitchen i mean the bathroom but i don't know about this bedroom guys i like my green bedroom okay anyways that's a little spiel on my house um and that's why it is not uh 
great. I know I'm not the best builder, but this wouldn't be my first choice of building, guys. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and open up Akil Akila's house here. She has a little pastel house. Uh, I'm just gonna replace the existing plot. Best feature, by the way. Best feature, replacing replacing plots. Uh, so here is her house. I have not seen any of these, by the way. Um, so uh, this is cute. Like, it's a decent house. It's cute. I think it's worth the price. It's like 50k. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a little shed out here. Okay, that's cute. We have a little shed in the backyard. All right, decent house. We got a shed. We have, it looks way bigger um, inside. It looked really small from the um, outside, but it's actually pretty big. We have a bathroom. We have a bedroom. Very cute. Oh, I didn't mean to close the lights. I like it. I don't know. If I, I don't like the colors if I had to say something, but other than that, pretty cute. Pretty cute. I like the layout. Also, these houses are upgradable, by the way. So if you guys don't like these houses with color or anything like that with textures, I will say I don't like this texture with that texture. There's the house. So oh, and we have maybe yep, guys. Then we have Faulty's house over here. Um, I'm just gonna replace this one. Where did my house? Where did this house go, guys? I don't know where this house went. So I'm just gonna replace the burger shop. There's nothing there anyways. And here we have Faulty's house. I think Faulty made something like this on Twitter, but I think it was a lot better because again, there were restrictions. So it's not gonna be the best. Okay, I don't know if, okay, this is already clashing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there's a lot of wood. There's so much, oh my gosh. There's like a cellar. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Oh, this just goes to this place. Okay, there's like a basement bedroom. This place has a basement. Interesting. Okay, I like. Let me go upstairs. Um, We have a little office. Oh, I really like the office. That's really cute. And then we go in here. We have a little bedroom. We have a bathroom. I think this is a very nice layout. Um, again, you can just change things. Like the TV was probably too expensive. So if you want to change the TV, I think these houses are really good things to build on. Um, they're not the best houses because again, we had some restrictions and things like that. You know what? Comment down below how many times I say restrictions, guys. So they're not like the best homes ever, but you can change them. I think I really like this one. This is more of like... A, a me style this is something that i would have irl not all this wood there's a lot of light wood and it hurts my eyes but other than that i think it's pretty cute i like it oh we have a backyard as well i don't think there's anything in the backyard no there's nothing in the backyard but overall i i enjoy the house i would change uh the the wood i think it's too light or like the floor like they're clashing you know what i mean you know what i mean but hey you can you can build upon these houses I think they're good starter houses. That's what I'll say. All right, next up, we got Row Builds Campsite. Now, these are things that I wanted to see. What do you mean by that? So when I heard of Marketplace, I thought we were gonna get cool things, like not houses. I really didn't want houses in the Marketplace. I really wanted, well, houses as well. But I really wanted like random things. And I think a campsite is perfect to have because now if I wanna role play on a campsite, I don't gotta build a campsite. I can just have a campsite, if you know what I mean. So where I really really wanted a marketplace was so I can add like use things for um you know role plays and things but we have a dock here with a lake I mean this is just a really like easy uh campsite to have to use for for uh you know whatchamacallit role plays we have a little bunk bed area we have a little kitchen we have two cabins which is great we have a guitar outside another little cabin this one's a lot better. I like this one. This one is better. I want I want to live in that one. <laughs> if I ever make a camp role play, we're going to live in that one. And then we have uh, two bathrooms. And that is basically the campsite. Also, if I'm rushing through these guys, we have a lot to go through. And I don't want to make this such a long video. But this is these are the things that I wanted on the marketplace. Um, I really like this one. It's very cozy. Very bi It's big enough for like a role play. Then we have Stan's house. And I actually saw a bunch of pictures of Stan's house um, before it came out because he was sharing and i actually really like this one i think he got a craftsman house as well but with a bigger budget oh my gosh yeah he has such a guys he has a pool oh my gosh okay well here's his house i actually really like this because i love dark brown wood with black i like this is like the color scheme that i really like in houses i don't really know if i like the stone part but other than that i really do like the texture scheme okay coming right in i don't like the bricks but i really like this kitchen it has vines it looks a little dirty though, um, but maybe that's the vibe that he was going for. We have a little dining room. And then over here, we have a little office with a uh, living room. Then we have a little kid's room. Okay, cute. And then what is this? Is this to go outside? Oh, we have a little laundry room. Okay, which is the garage. The garage is very small, but 
I should have made my garage smaller. Maybe I would have saved money. There was literally nothing in my garage, though. Very cute kitchen. I mean, bathroom. Cute. And then we have the master bedroom. Adorbs. And then we have the backyard. So we have the backyard. Very big. Oh my gosh, this backyard's huge. We have beehives, uh, plots. We have a little campfire set. We have a little area to sit. Clothesline. What is this? Uh, Oh, we have a little gardening section. This shed, it's so cute. And then we have a pool. I think this is like the perfect house for a starter house. Like you have everything that you need. Like, oh, I don't remember that we had beehives and now I have a beehive where I can collect honey and I have plots to like go uh, gardening. Like it reminds people that we have these things like maybe for like new players. I think this is a great house for new players because, oh, Oh, I fainted. I was like, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I, guys, I forgot about the fainting. I fainted and I didn't even know. I was like, what's happening? Am I dying? Um, I'm alive, guys. We're fine. <sighs> I just fainted. We're okay. Okay, where was I? I think, yeah, okay. So I think what I was talking about was like, this is like the perfect house for a starter house. It's a little bit dark. I would change textures and colors. But other than that, um, this is what a starter house should be. But let's move on. So let's go to house, uh, switch houses here. What's next? Next up we have Azuria. I'm so sorry. I can never say her name. I'm so sorry. But this is a Contempo court. This is a very modern house, which a lot of people really like. So here is her house. So we have a little modern house. These very popular. Are they? I think they're still popular. Um, and then we go downstairs. We have a little garage. We'll go back to that. But let's go inside and check it out. Out. Alrighty, I like the interior. I don't like the floor, but other than that, me likey likey. We have a living room, we have a kitchen. It's very white, but I, that's modern, of course. Um, oh my gosh, I like that texture. Very, very not texture, that detail. We have a bathroom. Uh, we have a, is that a courtyard? <gasps> we have a courtyard. Dude, I love courtyards. Also, I think we can like, uh, you know, change this out for one of the new doors that like goes. These were all made before this update came out. So since we have those new doors, I would totally like replace this with that. We have a little uh, pool out here, a little campfire. Very good. I like the backyard. Let's go back inside. And then what do we have here at the kitchen? We have a patio. And then downstairs. Ooh, we have a little. I need to stop saying a little. I need to stop saying that, guys. We have a gym. And then what's in here? Another bedroom. Maybe a bathroom. Yep, another bathroom. This is very big. I like this. And then we have a, the bathroom. Not the bathroom. The garage. Guys, I can't talk. I'm all over the place. Oh, and we have some more details back here. I like it. It's giving off modern. It's giving off a very modern, um, but not that modern. I would change this thing to maybe brown. I don't know. I would, I would just change texture. Maybe I'm just not really good at textures, actually. I, it's just too much for my eyes. My eyes hurt. But I really like the exterior. The exterior is A+. plus. But if you like modern houses, this is a great buy. Okay, next up, we have Lexi's place. She got a lot of... She got a... Um, whatchamacallit? Trailer houses. So let's check out this one called Wheels and Wonders. Okay, so like this is like a cutesy trailer park. I was thinking of like a rundown trailer park, but it's not a rundown trailer park. It's more of like a, a cute one. Um, so we have pastel houses. We have this blue one over here. Oh my gosh, it's actually really cute. Uh, okay, we have a bathroom. Then we have the kitchen. We have the dining room. Uh, we have a laundry. These are actually very spacious trailer homes. Okay, wow. And then we have a bedroom and we also have a a kid's room. They, they, okay. Slay. I like this. Uh, this is very cute. I like, I like. And if you guys need a little neighborhood for a role play, this is perfect. Um, these are not even small. I think they're all the same, but different colors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So yeah, these are all just the same houses, but different colors. There's a little playground in the front, a swing set. So if you want to do like a trailer park, you know, role play, you got this. This is what I like this. I, I do like the houses, but I really like like the different ones. Um, cause this would be so fun to use in a role play. Okay, now we're getting into like the big ones. I'm thinking, yeah, we're now going into the 200Ks. We have about three, six more left. This is Glossy's. She got townhomes. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and replace the ones that we bought because I'm running out of plots. And here we have the townhomes. Um, with the town, I really like the concept of having a townhome, but I wish it was like a whole line of townhomes, but I think cause it's like a small plot or whatever. But I do like these townhomes. They're very cute. Like they have a little basement area too. So let's head on inside. We have, oh my gosh, there's so many colors going on. Um, we, I think this is like, okay. This is a very interesting color scheme. Ooh, but I really like this whole concept over here. 
I do like this concept. I do also like the blue kitchen. This is very cute for me personally. I enjoy this. I enjoy this backside, but there's a lot of colors going on over here. I don't know about that. Oh my God. Why am I falling? Okay. I don't know what just happened, guys. I was just falling through the stairs. And then we have a kid's a baby room there. We got a bathroom over here. And then we also have a... Oh! We have a big kid's bedroom over here. And then we go upstairs. We have some more rooms. We got office study room. Um, another bathroom. Oh my gosh, this is a huge bathroom. Dang. That's huge, girl. That's huge. And then we have a massive... Oh my gosh, we got a massive bedroom with a full walk-in closet with a vanity. I need that IRL, man. And I'm just gonna fall back downstairs because I think there's a basement as well. So let's go check that out. All right. Ooh, a little cozy room here. Um, we got the laundry room and, a, and the pantry. Why is the pantry downstairs? It looks like a fallout shelter with the pantry down there. But I think my favorite part is the kitchen area. I think this is very cool. But other than that, I think it's a well-made uh, area to like build on top of. Um, changing colors and then changing uh, some of the furniture and stuff. I think it would look really cute. And this one, she made empty so people could just build. And I really like this. I like how it's just the same format, but someone can like move in next door. And maybe you can make this into a role play. Like that, that other one's your neighbor and this one you're moving into. So I think this is a fun way to open up to a role play. So I really like this idea. I like it. We have the Grandeur Gourmet. Is this a, is this a hotel? Hospitality. Yeah, I think this is a hotel. All right, let's go ahead and uh, time to build those a plot. Uh, what? Failed bulldoze? Bro, why is it failing my bulldoze? Okay, and here we have the hotel. I'm thinking this is a hotel or is this a cafe? I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it looks like a cafe down here. Oh, wait, this is really cool. We have a little cafe. Okay. Oh, there's a basement. Is it a spooky basement? <gasps> oh, oh, I think this is for like um working quarters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is for employees. We have a cafe up here. And then if there's bedrooms, I'm guessing it's a hotel then. Oh, wait. Guys, how do I get upstairs? Hello? Is there nothing up there? Oh, there is stuff up here. But how do I get... Am I dumb? Am I blind? Oh my gosh, guys. Where, where are the other stairs? Maybe there's stairs outside. <gasps> oh yeah, there's a back door. Okay, I don't know why the stairs are back here. I don't know why, but the stairs are in the, on the side. Okay. Uh, nothing up here. And then we go up here. I think it's like one room or floor. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, we have a little apartment buildings. Okay, this is an apartment building, I'm guessing. And not and not um, a hotel. Okay, yeah, this would make much more sense if it's, a, it's, if it's an apartment building. This is actually really cute. I like it. Uh, there's a cafe on the bottom. Oh, this one has a double floor, bro. This is a lofted apartment. This would be so fun to like open up. Okay, I like this concept. See, guys, I like the ones that are not just houses. Like this is an apartment complex. We have like motor homes. Uh, we had a campsite. Those are the ones that I personally like because those are like helpful for role play purposes. And then I don't have to build anything. So me like. And next up we have a motel, which I actually really, really enjoy. I haven't seen it, but I know I'm gonna like it. All right, here we have Riot's uh, motel. And this is so fun for role plays, guys. I mean, it's just a simple old motel. It's all dirty and gross. I mean, we gotta use this for a, a role play or something. Like, I don't know what we would use it for, but I'm gonna use it for something. Let me, let me know down in the comments below what I should use this one for, guys. But um, a simple motel, a ton of rooms, uh, dirty, like, motels, you know, that are stereotypical. We also have a pool in the back. This is actually a really nice pool for a motel looking like that, but I'll take it. And then we have a front desk office area as well, so you can check in. Um, we have bathrooms with a wet floor sign, very cute. And then I think this is where like the owner of the motel lives. You know what? I should just be like the owner of a motel and then open up a motel. Oh, we can do that too. And I hope the marketplace can open in the future for everybody. I think they just need to go through some moderation issues and things like that. Um, but oh, this house is very nice. Uh, this is called the Heritage House. I love the outside. Oh wait, this is actually really nice. Ooh, see what you can do with a bigger budget. All right, see what you can do with a bigger budget. If I had a bigger budget, I would go off, all right, sis, but I got 40K. Okay, I like this house. Maybe we should use this house for Halloween. This is giving me Halloween vibes. Love the kitchen. I love a green kitchen. I love a colorful kitchen. We have a backyard, and our backyard, a garage. This is giving me the house that we got for uh, the Halloween update for the Vix Vaughn people. I already forgot their name. Victor, Victor Vaughn. Yes, and Helen, Helen. I, I remember the names, guys. 
We have a bedroom, a soleil, another bedroom. And then we have a little area for the piano and things like that. Very cute. I really like this house. Okay, maybe this is my favorite house. So, okay, I really like that one. Um, now we have two more left. We have pitas and simplies left. So let's go ahead and open this one. This one's a different. This one's like in the desert, which is really cool. All right. So this is a the grand. What is this called? The canyon one. Um, so we are in the desert. A little bit different than the other ones. We have a whole desert uh, background landscape type of thing. I see a little backyard. Um, so let's head on inside. Oh, oh, it's giving me Coachella vibes. Okay, so inside we have a kitchen. We have an office. Oh, I did not mean to take the mug. <laughs> My bad. And then we have the living room. I, I, the only thing, I don't like the floor texture. But other than that, I think it's, it's going swell so far. We have a bathroom. We also have a laundry room over here. Um, the bath, not the bathroom, the garage. Oh, we have a kid's room. Okay. It's giving me dark and dingy, but maybe that, that's what the, the, the color scheme was for. And then we have a little, uh, what are those things called? Sunrooms? I think this is a sunroom. Yeah, that's a sunroom. We have a backyard. Oh, I like the backyard patio area. Okay, this is cute. I love the backyard. I love a good backyard, guys. I am a fiend for a good backyard. Then we have the master bedroom. It is a little too yellow for me, but I think that's all I would change is the yellowness. Um, I would also change the texture, but I like it. I like how it's different from all of them. Like it's a canyon. It's like a desert theme, you know? And I really like the outside. I do really like the outside. I would just change the interior. The interior is not my vibe. Oh no, I clicked main menu, guys. I'm just so used to clicking main menu. And last but not least, let's go ahead and buy Simply's over here, the Marble Manor. It is $300,000. It has three bedrooms, three three bathrooms and let's go ahead and where are the houses nature's nook sorry but we gotta we gotta replace them oh i spelled my username wrong and here we have the marble manor everybody it is massive it is three hundred thousand dollars so of course it's massive um this is giving me like um savannah georgia if you type in savannah georgia all right so we have an interior Ooh, a little high ceiling it's too yellow again for me guys i don't know why i don't like yellow light i know a lot of people use yellow lighting though um i love the laundry room i love a little green and then we have oh ooh, love the bathroom we have a cozy little uh sitting area this is actually really nice i like this we have a sunroom uh for gardening love that we have a gazebo outside too which we'll go check out we have a dining room a little cozy area <gasps> a green kitchen i love a little green kitchen piano and then we go upstairs another little cozy area over here we have two bedrooms i'm pretty sure yeah oh my gosh this bedroom's huge a nice little bathroom we have a balcony as well okay i like this house and i really like um panda's house i think i think those two houses are up my alley and then i really like all the other ones that aren't houses i think that's that is what i really like and then I like Stan's house as a starter house. And that is that one. I, 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 we ran through these houses, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't really want to make this video too long. But I hope you guys saw all the houses. We have a gazebo out here as well. Um, and yeah, those were just like quick tours of the houses. So now you have a little bit more understanding of what you guys might want to buy. But there we have it, guys. That was my first time touring them all as well. I saw pictures of some of them, but I didn't really get to see them fully in depth. And I really don't know what their prompts were or anything like that. So most of them were really nice. Some of them I would change textures, change some stuff up but again everyone had like a budget and stuff so i think these are good like starting points and then you can build up from these houses um so if you don't know how to build if you don't want to build like a full-on house you can use one of these and just change it up and make it your own which i think is a great idea so overall i think this is a great idea and i really hope they open up the marketplace fingers crossed because i really want to like i want some stadiums or something like people have stadiums people have built like football courts and things those are the things that i want and i also think it'll be easier to tour things as well but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on these houses down below have you bought any of these um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed don't mind my house i know it's ugly we don't need to talk about it but i'm just so thankful that i think it's really cool that i'm in a game okay like can i just have that moment like i think it's really cool anyways i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye there's spit in my mouth